The Detroit Arson Squad quickly found a person of interest today in an early morning fire and double homicide. Rod Maloney is live on the east side with some of the information that investigators know this evening. Rod? Well, Steve, they started out at noontime telling us it was an arrest, but they backed off of that now, and they're saying that they do have a woman in custody. They are questioning her. They found her at her mother's house about four miles from here, but there is a decidedly nasty edge to this story. As we take a look at the house, you can see that there are balloons up here. There are people around. There are memorials here now because the people who died in this house are going to be missed. The fire started about 2 a.m. and quickly spread throughout the wooden house. Killed in the fire was James Jordan and his girlfriend. The girlfriend's brother survived but remains in critical condition in receiving hospital. Neighbor Darlene Greco wanted to help but was driven back by the flames shooting out of the windows. It's a tragic shame to be cut down like that. Nobody should over senseless stuff. The senseless stuff was a fist fight between Jordan's new girlfriend and an old one, and it was over Jordan. The old girlfriend lost, and investigators say she promised to return, and the claim is she did, setting fire to the house by throwing something like a Molotov cocktail through a window. The fire quickly spread, and Jordan and his girlfriend died upstairs. The girlfriend's brother was found near death on the first floor. The neighborhood took the fire very hard. Tierra Cash and her mother brought balloons and a candle. I seen around the neighborhood, the kids, the mom, the dad, real sad story. The Detroit Arson Squad found out looking for the girlfriend. Chief Charles Sims spoke with Local 4 about the deaths. And this is very sad that this happened, um, but unfortunately we have a world today where things like this happen. And that's where we come in and we try to make sure that people who are responsible for crimes like this, um, they serve the consequences. Now, uh, we are told that Jordan had a child with the old girlfriend and that may have been the spark of all of this. Jordan himself was 23, his new girlfriend 21, her brother 22 years old. We're still awaiting IDs on them. Reporting live on the east side, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, thank you, Rod.